So I've started to notice a theme in the comments section that these beginner tips really help out a lot of people. So I'm going to load out quite a few of these in between some of my own sporadic motorcycle videos. But it got me thinking about things that I really got stumped on when I first started riding. And one of those was clutch control, especially at slow speed and without stalling. So let's say we jump out on this little guy and I can give you some tips with a close up camera footage of some clutch control and hopefully I can simplify it for you and help you out. Right guys, hopefully by the end of this video I can get you using the clutch semi, semi confidently and you can go out and practice. And as I'll show you just now, it's as simple as just getting that friction zone and just releasing. You don't even need to use the accelerator and then you're in gear and it will roll forever and ever and ever until you pull the clutch in and disengage the gears, or should I say the engine from the gears. So it's actually really easy, it's just more of a confidence sort of thing. And I think one of the first things you need to note when it comes to motorcycles and motorcycle clutches is that they are wet clutches, which means the engine oil that you put into your bike also lubricates your clutch. So if you're thinking of a manual car, for example, you would uh, try not to ride the clutch so much because it will start burning. Whereas with a motorcycle, the more you ride it, to an extent, from a smooth perspective, the better. So basically to ride off without stalling, you just need to find that friction zone on your clutch here. Somewhere on your clutch, the engine will start engaging and it will start biting. So with mine, if I knock it into first, somewhere about there. And this comes with confidence. You don't need to be very nervous and very jittery like my hands are now, because the bike's not gonna launch out from underneath you. You just gotta be very slow. And like I said, because they are wet clutches, you can do this all day you're not going to do any damage. So as I slowly, slowly engage, it starts rolling forward, as you can see. The more I let it out, the faster it will go. Now, when I say the faster it will go as you let it out, I think this is the thing that used to freak me out and what freaks a lot of people out, is they think if you just snap this thing out, you're going to launch it 100 mile an hour, which won't happen. It'll only go as fast as the gear will let you. And that'll also be as fast as the gear will go at idle, which in first gear is obviously geared on purpose to be rideable, which is very slow. So as long as you're holding onto the bike with your feet and your arms, you're not going to get launched, you're just going to go with the bike. It'll just start rolling, and now I'm completely engaged, and that's the fastest it's going to go. So you might feel a little kind of surge, just as you engage it. Once you can get that out of your head, I think that's the biggest thing that freaks people out. So get used to the fact that you're not going to come flying off the back of the bike. Of course, once you're in gear and rolling, now you have the gas, and then you can determine how fast or slow you want to go. But honestly, go find a flat piece of ground. Just sit on your bike like I am right now, feet on the ground, and just walk. You can just literally, you see my feet, walk the bike. And when it gets too fast, pull that in. And obviously, do it with two hands, not like me. So you've got your brake, and you can just determine how fast you want to go. So you walk, and if it goes too fast, brake. Walk, and brake. And as you get more confident, you just out, roll, feet up. So that's pretty much it. So going back to the very beginning, as I said, you can slip the clutch and that's where adding some throttle comes into play. So if you find that biting point, like I said earlier, the bit where you're walking, that middle ground where it's kind of engaged, but kind of not, I can hold it here and rev the bike like crazy and it will only go as fast as I let out. And this is on something as talky as an MT-09. So if you're on a smaller bike, don't stress. You're not gonna loop your bike so long as you're very gentle with your left hand here. So as you see when I do a U-turn, I'm engaging the revs. I've put them quite high so you can hear it. You just look where you wanna go and you just hold that friction zone. And believe it or not, the uh, revving of your engine is what adds a bit of power to the wheel, which stabilizes it. Because as you know, the faster you go on a bike, the more it wants to stay up. So don't be scared, the clutch is your friend, it's actually not that terrifying. So what I'll do is I'll stop here quick, act as if I'm going to pull off into gear. Everything we just said, we're going to do the whole friction, accelerate. So if you add that together and just ride this ever so slightly, you can pull off a lot smoother rather than just chunking it into gear and getting that bump or stalling it. That's just coming down to how quickly you engage the clutch. But as time goes and your confidence grows, you'll find that medium ground that works for you. I'm just engaging the clutch, accelerating, pulling off, I'm in gear. That's it. It's literally that simple. But yeah, 
put any questions in the comments if you want to know anything and if you want to know any more specific tips or tricks or riding ideas for me to cover just put them in the comments and i'll happily do so anyway thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time adios peace bye bye the usual outros see you next time